Hello everyone, this is Money Mom. Welcome to the channel. Today I want to chat with you guys about seven things I noticed about broke people. 2023 version. Let's get started and talk about it. Just to share with you, there's a difference between poor and broke. Broke means you have a job, but you don't have enough money really to pay your bills. Or maybe you're managing your money wrong. Poor means you might not even have a job at all. So I'm going to go over these, but just to start off really quick, there's absolutely no judgment to anyone. I'm not walking in anyone's shoes. These are things I've noticed from my personal experience, and I can feel the frustration and the overwhelm for people that always feel like they just simply don't have enough. It would be very, very frustrating and scary. The first thing is I've noticed that many people that are broke are just simply not really making enough or managing what they have well is they don't really make enough to be able to have extra for emergencies. They might make enough to pay their basic bills. Maybe they have a little bit left over, but they're not prepared when unexpected expenses come up. You know, because I really think many times, and you might hear a lot that folks say, oh, they're just managing their money wrong. There may be some higher income folks out there doing that. But I think many times it's an income problem because it's great to have money for your bills. That's wonderful. But there's all these little extra expenses that can come up and it can be very overwhelming. Number two, they really don't set financial goals. And the reason why is they really feel like they don't make enough money to be able to do that. So they're not, you know, planning ahead and thinking about, oh, I want to save money for something. Okay, number three they spent on wants first before needs. And I think many times people do that because I've known of folks that are broke that might even work a couple different jobs, but they don't make that much. Maybe their rent's really high. And so they might go out to eat as soon as they get paid or do something because they just want to do something to treat themselves, which I can totally understand, but they spend their money on that first before their four walls. So that's something that I've noticed. Number four, they just simply don't plan ahead at all. They don't anticipate what could come up six months from now. They don't plan ahead to say, hey, I might get laid up from my job. And so they don't anticipate these things. And so there's no planning. Number five, and I'm not going to use the word complain. Yes, there's some people that do complain about money. Hey, I complain about high prices. I will admit that. And guess what? Does my complaining solve anything? No, but sometimes it's fun to complain. I'm just being honest. But a lot of times, folks that are always broke, yes, they might complain, but they also have a lot of anxiety and worry about money. They worry a lot about money. And that's why many times they don't even look at their finances because it is just too stressful and, and just too difficult for them emotionally and everything to even look at their bills and look at things because it's just kind of scary. I mean, I know sometimes in my life, if there's something that causes me a lot of stress, I like to just put a wall up and ignore it. But guess what? It always comes back to bite us. Okay, so that's number five. They can complain, but they also worry and fret a lot about their financial situation. Number six, many times they're behind on bills. They get late notices or things get turned off. Sometimes bad credit comes. So you've got the late notices. You've got bills that are late. And so they, you know, like their phone's turned off. Oh, you won't be able to get a hold of me because I wasn't able to pay my phone bill. So it's like... They, don't, they only have money enough to pay one bill, not two. And it might be because they spend a little fun money because they don't want their child to go without a birthday gift, things like that. So it's all about prioritize. They have a hard time prioritizing things. And it might be because they have a lower income. All of that can kind of go together. Something I didn't write down on this list, but I've noticed many people that have a low income that I've noticed, instead of purchasing something, they will go rent something and they end up paying more for it in the long run. And then number seven, and there's so many other of these, I could go on with a list of 20, but I'm just sticking with seven today. They simply just don't know where to start and they feel a sense of overwhelm and they don't know how to budget at all. And for folks that are in this situation, I know I would, I'd love to help someone like this, sit down with them and get them at at least a starting point. Because I think many times people don't know how much money they're bringing in and how many bills they have. And I think if someone sat down and actually wrote everything out, they might be surprised. So these are some things that I've noticed about broke people. There's, if I kind of feel like I'm meeting more people that are broke, kind of overwhelmed, 
and stressed out about money now more than I have before. And so in the comments below, make sure please to be encouraging because we're not walking in anyone's shoes. And that's what I'm going to leave you with now. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I sure hope to see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.